in this video, the Python count list method. So count is a list method which is very useful for counting the number of occurrences of an item or an object in a list. So let's say we had a simple list, in this case, one, two, three, three, okay? And we wanted to count the occurrences of one or of two or of three. How would we do that? Well, we could do a dot count and then pass our argument to, uh, to this method. So if I pass one here, uh, that has one occurrence. If I pass three here, that has two occurrences, right? So that is how we uh, count the occurrences in a list. And I would mention that you need to pass an argument to the count list method. If we try to run it empty, we will get uh, a type error saying that count takes exactly one argument. So let's start building up our list to something a little more complicated to show you a few more examples. So here I'm working with numbers, but we could also do strings. We could also do a list nested inside our list. Um, so I don't know, I'll call this nested. We could also do a dictionary and I'll just put a quick key value pair here. So now we have a string, a list, a dictionary, as well as some integers. And that is a, that is our list. So how could we check the count? Again, we do a dot count, and then I could check the occurrences of hey in this list. And if I did a dot append, and I added another hey onto it, uh, we, could we can check our, our list a again. So now we have two hey's, and when I go to run that count again, we get two. So it's taking uh, into account that we have added another one, you know, obviously counting both of our string values. And what I really wanted to get across here is that you don't just have to pass numbers, right? So of course we can pass numbers. Uh, now we know we can pass strings and we can of course even pass a list in here. So I think I had a list that said nested in here, right? So we had one occurrence of that. Um, we also had a dictionary in there, so I can pass our dictionary right in there, and we're getting a value. Um, of course, if we pass, say, an empty dictionary or an empty list, we're going to get zero because we don't have any empty dictionaries. We don't have any empty lists. So pretty intuitive, pretty straightforward. Uh, that is the basics of how to work with the count list method. The other thing I really wanted to show you guys, I think is well highlighted in this Stack Overflow post. And basically what this guy is trying to do is he's saying that there's two occurrences of ABA in ABABA, right? So you, these would have to overlap, right? So there's kind of an overlapping occurrence. If you, if you think there's two occurrences, that means you're kind of using that overlapping aspect of it, right? So let's go back to our terminal. Um, we have created my string here. And let's say we did exactly what this guy's doing. So we wanted to check the count of ABA. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Are we going to get one or are we going to get two here? Well, we're going to get one. And we're going to get one because the count list method does not take into consideration um, overlapping. And so if you really wanted to check every occurrence um, what you would have to do is basically loop over this string and kind of increment your index by one every time and kind of, yeah, find a solution using a loop where you're looping over your string. So if that's what you're looking for, and I know that's a common uh, interview question or leak code type question, well, you're going to have to introduce a loop, I believe. Um, but if you just want to straight up count things and only count things once, then the count list method is perfect for you. That should pretty much cover everything you need to know about the count list method. So at this point in time, all I want to say is thanks for watching. Enjoy.